All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here checking out. So I'm sitting here with my home away from home. And unless you're uh, watching Coleon Noir or Jared over there at Guns and Gadgets, you're uh, going to be new to this, hopefully. But uh, anyway, Joe Biden has come out with his gun control plan if elected. And I have taken several notes, and I want to go over those in detail with you. Now, just to preface this video, I have yet to watch either Coleon or Jared's videos because I'm trying to keep mine original. So just here we go. Uh, I'm going to read out all the things that jumped out to me. Now you can go ahead and I'll put the link down below in the first item. Go read this stuff. It is it's, What it is is he spends half his time trying to sell the reasons why and it's sad. Okay, the one that's really disturbing, hold gun manufacturers accountable. The Protection Law for Commerce and Arms Act, this law protects the manufacturers from being held civilly liable for their products. Okay, so Joe, what happens if somebody gets drunk and they go run over a bunch of school kids and they're in their Ford? Is Ford now liable civilly for that individual's actions? And it's all because they should have some morality knowing that their firearms that they make uh, could be, have the potential to do this. It's absolute BS. <clears throat> now, here we go. Get weapons of war off our street. The bans on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. Ban the manufacturer and the sale of assault weapons and high capacity magazines. He says it in several different locations, so you might hear some repetitive stuff. Federal law prevents hunters from hunting migratory game birds with more than three shells in their shotgun. That means our federal law does more to protect ducks than children. Stop with the damn bullshit, man. That's that's the kind of stuff that just gets absolutely old. Is this the <coughs> the pitches of the left and the right, just all these nabs these these things and this is it's getting sick it's a game of words for these people the ban on assault weapons will be designed to prevent manufacturers from circumventing the law by making minor changes that don't limit the weapons lethality otherwise you remember back in the day where they got rid of the handle the stock grip that kind of thing uh, also he wants to ban the importation of assault weapons I don't know what an assault weapon is but if you find one I really would like to have one Regulate possession of existing assault weapons under the NFA. This is this is where it gets interesting. Okay, buy back assault weapons in high capacity already in our communities. Let's well, voluntarily though. <laughs> Biden will also institute a program to buy back weapons of war. War! Who? What is it good for? Currently on our streets. This will give individuals who now possess assault weapons or high capacity magazines two options. Sell the weapons to the government or register them under the NFA. And I, I did see the little portion of uh, Coleon that says, yeah, register them so you can come get them later on. Uh, no, 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 no. It's totally designed to enact a full-blown confiscation down the line. And it will come. They just don't want to call it confiscation. You know, the mandatory buyback. If you register them, they know you've got them, and then they can come to you and say, here's your $200 per weapon. If you don't give them to us, we're going to burn your house down and shoot your dog. Uh, reduce stockpiling of weapons. In order to reduce stockpiling of firearms, restricting the number of firearms, an individual may purchase, <laughs> purchase per month to one. <laughs> I, some people, they don't have a problem with it, but I do. Firearms, this video channel, this is my business. This is what I do. I shoot. Limiting me, telling me how many I can buy. Oh, enact universal background legislation and close other loopholes that allow people who should be prohibited, hold on, from purchasing firearms, from making those purchases. A background check for all gun sales with, with very limited exceptions such as gifts between close family members. Sorry, I just ate a burrito. So, uh, what does that mean exactly? Can I hand all my guns down to my son, or is he going to have to go and fill out a background check for each individual one? This will close the so-called gun show and online sales loophole. What's an online sales loophole? I, I you know, why don't just please go ahead and call it? It's, person to person, but they label it so that they create a picture like, oh my god, online sales loophole, does that mean you can just go online and, and just buy a gun anytime you want? 
oh, you know, I can just order it and they'll deliver it to my door. And this is what they're doing. They are selling this to the people who don't know any better. I'm not telling you something you don't already know. In addition to closing the boyfriend loophole highlighted below, and we'll talk about that here in a second, reinstate the Obama-Biden policy to keep guns out of the hands of certain people unable to manage their affairs for mental reasons is dictated by the Social Security Administration. They're trying to pull that thing again. So just because a guy can't write his own checks and has somebody else write the checks for him, they say that he's mentally unstable and he cannot have a firearm, which is total BS. Uh, enact legislation prohibiting an individual who has been convicted of a misdemeanor hate crime or received an enhanced sentence for a misdemeanor because of hate or bias in his commission. And again, this is one of those things that's really dangerous when they start doing this because somebody could say something online and possibly be convicted of a hate crime. Therefore, your gun rights are gone. Close the Charleston loophole, which allows people to complete firearm sales, purchases if their background checks are not completed within three days. What he's trying to do is extend that to 10 days. Close the fugitive from justice loophole created by the Trump administration. What is that exactly? Can somebody please tell me what the hell that is? In the online sale of firearms and ammunition. Oh, hell no. Biden will enact legislation to prohib prohibit all online sales of firearms, ammunition, kits, and gun parts. That again, that's part of our business. There better be some major lobbying going on to get this guy out of office. We all know that Elizabeth Warren is going to be the one because everybody wants, they have to have a woman in office, even if it's that dingbat. And God knows it can't be Kamala Harris. She's too looking too good. Okay. <laughs> Create an effective program to ensure individuals who become prohibited from possessing firearms relinquish their weapons. So if they find out you got an issue, they're going to come get it. Relinquish. What does that mean? Yeah, come and get it. And synthesize, uh, synthesize state extreme risk laws red flag laws, give states incentives to set up gun licensing programs, adequately fund a background check, should do that now anyway. Addressing the deadly combination of guns and domestic violence. This is about the boyfriend loophole. All right, The Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act of 2019 closed the so-called boyfriend loophole and stalking loophole. In other words, you can get a restraining order against your boyfriend, I guess, I'm not sure. In addition, uh, Biden will establish a new task on online harassment. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, require gun owners to safely store their weapons. Empower law enforcement to effectively enforce our gun laws. Uh, you can't do that now. Prioritize prosecution of straw purchases. Put America on the path of ensuring that 100% of firearms sold in America are smart guns. Make sure firearm owners take responsibility of ensuring their weapons are used safely. Hold adults accountable for giving minors access to firearms. Holding adults criminally and civilly liable for or for directly or negligently, negligently giving a minor access to a firearm regardless of whether the minor actually gains possession of the firearm. What? What the hell does that mean? Uh, let's see, we can even notify law enforcement when potential firearm purchases fail the background checks that's already there. But he threw it against the wall to see if it would stick. Require firearm owners to report if their weapons are lost or stolen. Responsible gun owners have a responsibility to inform the law enforcement if their weapon is lost or stolen. It's all the boating accidents. Basically what it is is that you have to report it if it's lost or stolen or at the bottom of a lake. So later on when you are found with it, they can convict you. Require firearm owners to report. All right, we do this. Stop ghost guns. One way people who cannot legally obtain a gun may gain access to a weapon is by assembling a one of their own, either by buying a kit of disassembled parts or 3D printing a working firearm. Reform, fund, and empower the U.S. Justice Department to enforce our gun laws. Uh, that's it. Whew, that was a long one. Anyway. Guys, <laughs> yeah, Biden's gun control plan, um, I think what he did was he just took and said, find everything we can and uh, let's throw it out there. But if you read, I did, and I did, I went and read Vox's, Vox, V-O-X, which is the most liberal POS, 
They were like, well, it's not as strong as Cory Booker's or Beto O'Rourke or Elizabeth Warren's. They're already complaining that this is not strong enough. So the whack jobs out there in the world today, they have no clue what will and will not work. They're just, what they want to do is they want to get the hands or guns out of the hands of civilians. <laughs> Beto O'Rourke, sorry, I got a little cold. Beto O'Rourke the other day just said simply, guns belong only in the hands of government, police, and, a, and military. He is the most tyrannical threat to our republic that is in existence today. Guys, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. We always end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. It's freedom's not free. It's Good Boy 32. I'm out.